wow, the mouse just got thrown up fast. That was a building, so that's why I come past. And the time before that, it was a car dealership. That's quite a bit of space. I've managed to get out of that little bit of land there. That's good. I'm gone. And that house has gone in the corner. The built little houses. Way. So we're just out putting some miles on the MSX or the Gram. I'm going to go and see some ducks. Some ducks this way. I forgot to have to some ducks. Just going to look at them. Um, anything new happening since the last video? The last video was actually an old video. It was the protest ride from March in Matlock Bath. I've got the video footage left over, so I... It was taken apart, drive space, so I threw it all together into a quick video. The camera was mounted on the bike before I got a mic and started this video blogging business, so it's just like lots of music, bits and pieces, bish bash bosh. Summarise the day and get rid of hours and gigs of footage. Um, before that was a car show one, which is probably not your thing, you've probably already skipped that one. Conscious decision I've made to make videos a lot shorter because you know, 10 minutes is like golden, golden in it, anything under 10 minutes is golden, anything over 10 minutes. Unless it's fantastically entertaining, which it ain't going to be if it comes out of my mouth. It's a bit dreary, so I've got to, I've got to uh, sort that out. So, less than 10 minute videos and less of special events and stuff. Uh, nature zone. They call this nature zone. Um... Oh yeah, oh yeah, not sure if I should, not sure if I should really talk about this or not, or whether I should definitely talk about it, but I suppose if I do without mentioning any names, I have been kicked out, <laughs> I have been kicked out of one of the local riding groups. And I'm going to use the term riding groups very loosely. That's pretty much sums. That's it's what it's aimed to be. Over. Oh, no, I oh, know there's been some talking after being kicked out and blocked. So I suppose if you like, this is my me getting my side of the story across. Yeah, let's just do it. I was accused of slagging off a ride out that they did and slagging the group off. Uh-uh. Now, I've got screen captures of a lot of the stuff. After I found out what I've been accused of, I could get some of it, but some of it I couldn't find again, obviously, because I've been kicked out by this point. And I'm not going to put it up, because it's difficult to show you what's what without naming the group. And I'm not naming the group, because if you know what I'm talking about, you know. If you don't know, then I don't really want to sort of... It's not. Whatever. Anyway. I'll tell you what happened with the ride out. That I got, slag that I got accused of slagging off. It was a long ride out, covered quite a few miles, and these groups never covered quite a few miles before because they they just don't. And a couple of young lads posted up, sort of at the end of the day, hi guys, we're nearly home, sorry we couldn't make it, we got split up, we couldn't keep up. Now, I suggested, because I know how they work their ride out, it's just a straightforward convoy. I suggested, that's all I did, was suggest, why don't you try the second man drop-off system, which you saw in the World Bad Tour. It works fantastically, yes ours broke down, but it works in such a way that when ours broke down, no single rider or riders was left to fend for themselves. Nice horn it. Got split up into groups and was able to regroup as groups. That's the nature of it, it's brilliant, it does that. You don't, you don't end up abandoning anybody. Now, the fact that you were leaving riders to fend for themselves and get split up from the group, in my opinion, leaves you wide open for a degree of criticism. Obviously, it's a different mentality to other groups, but the way I see it is if you, if you want these people with you, you don't leave them to fend for themselves. You go as a group, you go home as a group, that's how it's done. So we did it on the World Bad Tour, unless anyone specifically said, right guys, I'm going to break off now, I'm going to go into this, I'm, I'm going this, I'm going home, or, or whatever, yeah, all right, fair enough, but you don't abandon people in the middle of nowhere. Now, it was fine in this instance, because what really happened was the guy couldn't keep up, he's, he's, he's had enough about him to turn around and say, you know what, 
this is silly. Like I have done with this group on previous rides, this is silly. I'm not playing silly buggers, trying to keep up. And he knew when to call it a day. And he turned around and he went out. Now what could have happened was his kids trying to keep up, but really hard on his 125. And he's pushing himself and the bike much harder than he's comfortable with or that he should be doing. And he could very well end up in a ditch, under a truck, seriously injured or worse. And nobody would even know, in the same instance that nobody knew, the guy had been split up in the first place because he couldn't keep up. And that is wrong. I'm sure you'd agree, to leave somebody where they could end up seriously injured or hurt and not even know is bloody wrong. You know? They wouldn't have known, and in some instances riders can, can come off in the countryside and bugs go flying and riders go flying and they're gone lost for days. I didn't criticise them, I just suggested the drop-off system because that instance, if somebody does come off, they get found by the guy at the tail. Somebody has a breakdown, somebody gets hurt, somebody's taken ill. It gets found. Nobody gets left out. Now, if that's criticising you that I suggested something, then fair bit, you know what, I'm not even interested. I don't ride with you for the exact reason that the way you ride, on one instance, I couldn't keep up on a 600. Well, no, that's wrong. It's not that I couldn't keep up. The 600 would have done just fine. I wasn't prepared to keep up. It was getting silly. There was, there was things happening that I wasn't prepared to do. I am a professional driver for a living, and my licence is worth more than me than sticking with a load of sports bike riders. I think they're all Valentino Rossi. You know, so yeah, I let them go. It's I can't do it. It's my livelihood. My job is my very income that pays for my bikes and and, and everything. And you know, so yeah, I'm not going to risk that. And as it turns out, due to me being fantastically good at navigating, I'm not blowing my own trumpet. I am brilliant at it. I actually got there before they did. Over the next 30 mile. <laughs> because they were following sat -navs and I just sense a direction and rough idea where I'm going. Anyway, that's not the point. Had I decided to push for it, I could have lost my licence or worse. You know, we could have got away with it. They all seemed to get away with it that day. Nobody come up saying, oh, I got done for this, done for that. Nobody got hurt, but, you know, I'm not playing that game. That's why I got the guys I ride with, Steve and Pete and Dean and that, because we all go steady. If somebody wants to cruise longer, 10 mile an hour, less than the speed limit, not filter, not overtake, that's fine, we stick with them. We go out with three bikes, we come back with three bikes, we go out with 30 bikes, yes, well, that's what I'm talking about. We came back with 30 bikes, everyone was happy. Nobody got shit on. So yeah, that's my side of the story. Slagging the group off? No. I mentioned on my own personal Facebook that, oh, I've been removed. I haven't had a courtesy message to say why I've been removed. Now, when I was running groups, we were in a few go per days and such, if somebody's been removed, say, right, look, we're not happy with this, don't do it again, or we will remove you, or if it was that bad, we are removing you because of this. We would offer them a chance to apologise, clear it up, and get back in on it, but now I was removed and I mentioned that. I've been removed, I don't know why, I haven't had a courtesy message to say, you've been removed, why? I hit rejoin because there was a lot of people in there I got on with, but it's all right. I've, I've sorted those connections back out again. But there was a lot of people I got on with that um, I was still enjoying the group as such. I didn't do the ride outs anymore, but I made that decision not to because I don't want to ride like that. So, yeah, that's all it was. I got the screen captures if I need to prove it. I'm not going to put them on the video because it will name the group that I'm not naming, but those that know, know. So that's that. Weird, huh?